Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and we're here to talk about the rating system. Um, when films first began, there was no rating system. It was whatever the traffic would bear. Um, and this encouraged the wide creation of an enormous number of films by lots of different companies, but there was no real way of gauging what was going on, on the screen. In the 1920s, a series of Hollywood scandals, including the Fatty Arbuckle scandal, um, encouraged the studios to uh, create their own motion picture censorship board, the Motion Picture Association of America, uh, with Will Hayes as its first president, a former postmaster general under the Harding administration, uh, to oversee the films. But there was really no teeth to the code until 1934 when Joseph Breen took over and made it the Hayes-Breen office. The Breen office basically in 1934 cleaned up films to the degree that they were almost completely unrecognizable from their predecessors. Uh, we now have a, a group of films called pre-code films made from 1930 to 1934 where things are much more risque, there's much more sexual content, more adult themes are explored, married couples don't have to sleep in separate beds. Uh, they're basically much more adult than films after 1934. In 1934, the most popular uh, box office star was Shirley Temple. She remained so until 1940, and this is partly a result of the code. The code continued on until the 1960s when films like Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, Michelangelo Antonioni's Blow Up, and Otto Preminger's films like The Moon is Blue began to challenge it, and the, the death knell was really Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf in 1966, which basically Elbert Albee said, it's only going to come to the screen un intact. I'm not going to alter the language. And Jack Valenti, who was then the head of the Motion Picture Code, crafted the switchover. Um, at that point, the code was just one rating. It was just rated for all. Soon, about 1966-67, what the code that we know today developed, the G, PG, eventually PG-13 for Steven Spielberg, and then R, and then of course X, which then turned into NC-17 for adult. So basically now films are rated by content and age group, but the rating system is a way to not only let you know what you're going to see, but the level of maturity to expect from the viewer. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.